Hi there, everyone. We're doing something a little bit different to you, but it's not new to me. I've got other things going on besides being on YouTube. I have got a few websites. I moderate a couple of groups on Facebook, and I'm also pretty much involved with moderating or being an unofficial host of a large church's chat area. So I'm a pretty busy camper, but one thing that I have is called the Daily Christian Quote website, dailychristianquote.com, notice no S in it. And it is the byproduct of me sending out Daily Christian Quotes starting back in the day before there were actual websites. People would sign up to a mailing list I had back then. I no longer have a mailing list for the Daily Christian Quote, but you can sign up for a version of a mailing list on the website. Just look at the top of the quote on the main page and you'll see where you can sign up. So anyhow, I thought I'd start to share a few of those quotes with you. There's 6,000 there and there is a new quote every single day, hence the Daily Christian Quote. But a little secret, I load those into the computer or into the website or onto Facebook a month in advance in one big clump. So I do not remember all the quotes that are in that little bundle that I bundled all at once but pop up to everyone else once a day. But this morning, in with a totally independent thought, I thought I would share whatever this quote was today just because I thought I would post something to you guys. So I kind of giggled when this one popped up because this happens to be Sunday when I'm doing this and I'm not able to get to my local church today. So I will be fellowshipping with fellow believers in a chat area of a group that I have been involved with for over 10 years. These people know me by my name. They know who I am. And although we don't see each other face to face because we live all around the world, there's a heart connection there. And I know they have my back. And I know that some of them know me well enough. They'll call me out on my crap when my crap is out on display to everyone else. But the quote of the day today is by a pastor named Banning Liebscher, who is the pastor of an up and coming church in the Sacramento area. And he has got such a passion for the local church and for the body of the local church to be doing its job. And that is supporting each other and to stop looking towards the pastor to be the answer for every single situation. He believes in empowering people to do the job of creating a healthy church that in turn can reach out to people who really need the help of Christ in their lives. So here's his quote and I'm not sure where I picked it up from, probably from a book that he wrote. And he says, The spirit of independence has separated too many people from community, and the enemy starts are raining down on them. It's really not that complicated. If it's raining and you don't want to get wet, then jump under an umbrella. So if you're thinking, Boy, oh boy, is the enemy's onslaught against me ever getting rough. Remember, our enemy is not flesh and blood. It's not people who are bugging you. It's not your job. It's not even your most unfavorite politician. That's not the enemy I'm talking about here. But you will notice the stings and the arrows of the enemy's onslaught against you a heck of a lot more if you're trying to live this Christian walk by yourself, me, myself, and Jesus, that's all that I need, then when you are in the protective covering of being with other believers who lift up their shields of faith around you, over your head, and 
providing you with that umbrella of protection that will help to dampen the effect of the enemy's onslaught against you. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.